Hello everybody, my name is Mitchell Drysdale and this is about to be the best vlog slash video presentation you have ever seen. So today is Friday, November the 18th and unfortunately not every group member um, is able to make it due to the scheduling. But Jordan and I are going to be going to downtown Raleigh to meet with Johnny Rankin, the senior vice president of the company that we chose, Balfour Beatty Construction, the US branch. And we're going to meet with him, um, meet with Johnny Rankin, and talk about, you know, the background of the company and, you know, just a lot of cool stuff and see if he can get any more insight to the company itself. So what I'm going to need to do is get ready because I am not. So I will get to that. Yeah, this is, um, can't quite wear this, but pretty nice, right? Visual effects. Okay. We are about to leave, and I'm gonna meet with Jordan in a second. Let's get the show on the road. We are on the way to our interview with Alfred Beatty. Um, hoping for good things. Hopefully we get good shots, good video. Hopefully they like us. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. You excited? Very excited. So hopefully we're going to get some good information that we couldn't get online and we'll meet some really great people. Wish us luck. Um, well, the video went great. She's eating a Jolly Rancher. Um, everybody was super nice, super receptive to what we were saying. Um, they liked us personally, which, I mean, we tolerated them, I guess. Um, they were all really nice. We got yeah. an interview with five. Five of the top execs mm -hmm. that were in the company and stuff. So we expected just Johnny, the senior VP, but we got more than that, which them. was fantastic. We got some great photos too. They gave us a flash drive of a lot of projects. Yeah, so you're gonna see some cool stuff. And a Jolly Rancher. And a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> Balfour Beatty is a publicly owned commercial construction company founded in 1933 under the name Centex Construction, but was bought out by Balfour Beatty in 2007. The buyout is what turned Balfour Beatty into an international company instead of just a London-based company. They have generated $3.9 billion in revenue in 2016 and keep growing in recognition and ability. They do a lot of projects for public universities and companies and keeping a 4.4 out of 5 customer satisfaction rate and a 90% employee satisfaction rate while doing it. Balfour Beatty, a construction company, is in the construction industry. They have over 2,400 employees nationwide and have 19 branches around the United States, including a Dallas, Texas headquarters. Like mentioned earlier, Balfour Beatty, a PLC, bought Centex Construction in 2007, an acquisition like we discussed in lecture, describing a company buying another company and then integrating that company with the original. Some notable executives of the company are Ray Bond, who is the US President and CEO, Eric Stenman, the Chief Operating Officer, and Mark Concher, the Chief Innovative Officer. Balfour Beatty is structured like a normal line organization, meaning that there are clear lines of authority. Authority starts at the top with the CEO and trickles down each level of management. Balfour BD is a de decentralized company, meaning that decisions are made throughout the entire organization as opposed to only at the top level of management. Much of Balfour BD's work is done in teams. Benefits of working in teams include higher quality decision making, diversified viewpoints, a greater commitment to change, lower levels of stress, and a higher degree of flexibility. Balfour BD employs an open systems perspective, meaning they transform inputs into outputs but continue to interact with stakeholders in the external world. Balfour BD provides their clients in both the public and private sectors with general contracting, at-risk construction management, and design build services. Balfour BD uses extrinsic motivations like monetary bonuses to motivate employees to work for strong outcomes since these bonuses are performance-based. Although, they tend to use more intrinsic motivations since the company uses teams for everything. Everyone works hard to put forth the absolute best final product since they don't want to let their teammates down and they only have one shot, meaning their first try has to be their best and they are unable to go back. They also do give out award recognitions which is beneficial for a resume as well as for one's personal satisfaction. 
Balfour Beattie believes that having both motivators is important for positive outcomes. Balfour Betty does not advertise like tr traditional companies do with billboards and TV advertisements. Balfour Betty must rely on their supply chain partners to help them and must use the marketing concept to accomplish their marketing goals. Since Balfour Betty has strong ties with its supply chain partners, as long as they efficiently and effectively meet their, par their partners' needs, their partners will help advertise whether that be with signs outside certain construction areas or even by simply word of mouth. Balfour Betty also practices permission-based marketing as they must ask permission to advertise. They cannot advertise to anyone who doesn't need construction as it would be a waste of those people's time and of Balfour Betty's time. A little bit of stealth marketing is also in place as the signs by their construction zones are a form of letting people know who is building a certain structure as well as an advertising agent for Balfour Betty. Balfour BD is a company that prides itself upon hard work and only taking on projects that the company believes can be completed with top customer satisfaction. Some of the time this entails that the company has to pick and choose certain projects to take on, but they are able to ensure that the quality of work is never diminished. The company prices the projects it takes on by considering a budget previously provided by the client and allocating resources and labor towards that budget. Most projects are chosen by a combination of factors that include how long the project will take, the overall profitability of the project, and the location of where the work will be done. With all these contributing factors, it is very important to the company that the price is right to take on the project. Balfour Beatty is able to stay on top of their finances and refrain from large monetary mistakes through the application of a few vital processes. First, the company uses building information modeling, which is a construction tool that plans the project virtually and saves the company a lot of money by properly allocating resources throughout the project. Digital documentation also allows for easy communication and understanding of financial information internally within the company. With these forms of modeling, the company is able to make accurate predictions and estimates as to the cost of the projects, which in turn accounts for a detailed balance sheet at the end of each period. Balfour Beatty has branched out into new markets and locations. They have been able to achieve this with strengths such as the help of the people in their company and their good connections. Currently, some of their main markets include healthcare, education, residential, and military housing, and highways. A weakness that the company faces is the public perception that the company is not American, since it is based in London. They currently use a public-private part partnership model and invest in other companies to gain funding for their projects. Something that they'd like to change is the ratio of public to private projects, which is currently 80 to 20. They believe they should seek out more private projects to have an even balance of public and private projects. The company has an opportunity to achieve this by using a 2.3 million bond to integrate into some of these projects. On the other hand, the company faces some th threats such as the changing labor markets, price escalations, and the changes that could come about with the recent election results. Balfour Beatty is a company that focuses a lot of effort on corporate social responsibility. One of the main ways that they do this is by raising money for a lot of different nonprofit organizations some of which include the American Heart Association, Boy Scouts of America, Habitat for Humanity, Hospitality House, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Teach for America, United Way, and the Wounded Warrior Project. The company also focuses on, on student engagement by funding scholarships and encouraging student engagement. Balfour Beatty has four main objectives that they base their company off of relating to CSR. Zero harm, zero waste, client advocacy, and employee inspiration. These four objectives also contribute to the company's 90% employee satisfaction rating. Balfour Beatty is the most innovative company because of its major CSR focus, use of technology, flexibility, and freedom of employees' opinions. They focus on helping better our environment while also giving back to the community by raising money for many nonprofits, focusing on helping their employees at work and at home, and by engaging and supporting students. Balfour Beatty uses technology to improve how they do business by using the virtual world to take out trial and error, and they are also constantly reinventing and adjusting to all aspects of the world around them. Also, in this industry, employees tend to get little say in their company, but Balfour Beatty focuses on ensuring their employees have the freedom to have a say, including the ability to critique even the CEO. Balfour Beatty is the most innovative company in this industry, not only because of their building designs, but most importantly in their CSR, technology, flexibility, and employees' freedom.